So you might be wondering the things you could be doing to give good bone health. So we're gonna discuss and solve some of those uh, questions that you might have today. Hey everybody, Josh Rimini here, uh, your functional pharmacist, and we're gonna talk a little bit about bone health today. So people focus a lot on calcium as uh, we've done a, a really good job marketing calcium as the, the main ingredient for healthy bones. Yes, calcium is super important. However, lots of things are also important because there's a lot of mini cofactors and micronutrients that are also involved. Calcium and magnesium in a specific ratio is really important. So when I'm asking and talking to patients about bone support, we're making sure that they're not just focusing on the calcium. We gotta focus on the magnesium, copper, manganese. There's all these little micronutrients that are important to help with the bone matrix itself. Vitamin D is important, we know that. Um, not just because we're eating it and it's going right to our bones. We also have to make sure if we're taking supplements, that they're actually gonna be absorbed into the body and go to the bone where we want to support the bone. So it's not like we can just eat all the things we need um, and, and assume that they're going there, right? Because that's the big important part of the bone health is are we supporting where it goes? Is it getting to the, the cells in the bone where we need to support it? And so a lot of things, um, people, the misconceptions or the conventional wisdom here is calcium is all the same. Well, calcium isn't all the same. And a really good bone support is coming from whole bone calcium. And that, that word is called hydroxyapatite calcium. And we use that quite a bit in our uh, bone support supplements at Dilworth. And so what does that mean is it's, it's derived from whole bone food. So it has all those micronutrients that are needed to actually help with the bone matrix. So choosing the right calcium, uh, calcium carbonate, which is in Tums and a lot of the, the OSCAL and the commercially available stuff is usually like, oh, I need a calcium with D. Well, that calcium is like 55 times less absorbable than the hydroxyapatite. So it's kind of like thinking, can you chew on 55 Tums to get one pill of real good bone support? And that's why our bone support works. Um, even small studies have shown that using the right bone support can actually improve bone density rather than just prevent it from getting worse. Um, so there's also other cofactors in there using boron and things like that, but really to the basics, get a good bone support foundation uh, supplement. Um, and then the lifestyle factors, right? The best medicine is food. So eat foods that are fortified in those same nutrients um, because when we get it from food, we're generally absorbing it the way nature intended it. Uh, so it's super important to remember that, um, making sure you're getting your vitamin D and then also those other types of things like exercise and putting a little bit of stress on the bone is super important. So the right lifestyle, the right diet and the right supplements, and you should be on a pretty good way to getting good bone health. So just a reminder to subscribe to our channel if you like this sort of functional approach to things like supplements versus conventional wisdom. This is all about this channel. We're loving it. We're happy to do it. Just reminding you to live better, stay well.